hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to remove the item from our wish list okay so now guys this is our wish list page which we are continuing from the previous video and now guys let's move to this remove button and when we click this the specific item should be removed okay from your database that's it so now guys let's get started so let's move to our editor and this is my wish list file and let's move to the remove button so here is our remove button and this is the a tag so now guys let's change this to button button and this href to type that is button and now let's use a live wire click wire colon click remove this list item function and inside this function i want to pass the this list id so here we copy this for each this list item of id we send this this list id so now guys when i click this i just want to hide this remove and instead tell it's removing so you can add a span tag span and move this inside the span tag and just add a wire colon loading dot remove okay so when you are clicking this at the loading part you are going to remove this section okay name and let's add one more and tell removing so here while colon loading loading and wire colon target on what target if you click this remove this list item that time you are showing this and hiding this okay so now guys let's copy this function name and go to our wish list show.php that is the live wire component okay so this is the page where you are showing this remove button remove button and that same controller liver controller so in this let's create one function and the function name is going to be remove this list item and from the parameter you are getting an integer value so let's type int and here that is this list id all set and you get your this list id so let us dd and check the id first let's get back once refresh and we need to check the id so here you see id number one and two and let's click on this remove and you get the id two and let's click on one here you see the id one you are getting this list id perfect but we see a glitch guys over here when i click on this remove we are seeing that both is removing okay so you need to just set that so on this remove this list what i'm going to do let us copy this function i mean this complete with the id so let us just copy that paste here and same wire colon target when you are removing this you just need to add this target okay and let me add an icon also here you paste paste it save it that's it so now guys get back refresh and you see let's click you can see only it's working on one perfect so now guys let's work on deleting okay so remove this list item on the wish list show controller here is your id so first step create one variable called this list equal to where this list model this list colon colon where condition again use a where condition for checking the user id and the this list id and just get the first record first function that's it guys so first step we will check with the user id user underscore id that is authenticated user id and then your normal 
that is your primary key id that is wish list id so which you are getting from the parameter params less than that wish list id and now you can just return a message with the session flash so you can add the flash session flash with the message message and set that wish list item removed successfully all done guys so if you are using this session flash we have to use in the wish list show blade file which we have not added here so guys instead of using the flash message let's use the browser event message okay so which we have learned in previous video about the dispatch browser event if you don't understand this dispatch browser event please watch the video link given in the description let me just paste the code and here let me add this message let's control x and paste here that's it let's remove this session flash and we are going to send using alertify and now guys let us just verify this code once again and wish list first oops we are actually deleting the wish list item right so we need to add that delete here okay all set let's get back and let's delete with mi note 7 here we click on remove removing and here you see wish list item removed successfully and your item is also vanished and now guys let us refresh this table and check for the item cool so you find only one item is left out so now guys let us uh, log out and see what happens on this wish list url so let's click on log out you are logged out successfully let's go to wish list here you see that you are facing an, an error why because it's searching for the id so what is that id it is actually the authenticated user id so the user is not logged in so for that guys we can just use the auth route in the web.php here let's use a middleware so let's use route colon colon group middleware here we need to remove the second one and just keep the auth middleware that's it and just move your route inside your authentication route and now if you try to access this wish list url it will redirect you to the login page please log in and then continue to redirect at wish list okay so let's click on wish list again and you see that it's moving to login page let's move to wish list here you see you are on the wish list without any error okay so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share